Hello everyone, this is Rain with KR Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to get one of my favorite transmog sets that can be used by any leather wearer. This set is a recolor of the Rogue Tier 2 Bloodfang armor. Although there is one minor difference other than the color, the boots are also a slightly different model than the Tier 2 set. I honestly like this model a little better, but that's just a personal opinion. The set can be very time consuming to farm, considering all the pieces come from Burning Crusade, heroic 5 man dungeons, but a few of the pieces also drop from the normal version of the same boss, so those pieces are a little easier to farm since you're not limited to killing that boss only once a day as you are with all the heroic bosses. So now that you've had a good look at this set, let's see how to get it. Cowl of the Guiltless is the headpiece for this set. It drops in the normal and heroic black morass located on the south side of the Caverns of Time. The boss you must kill is the third and final boss, Aeonis. This for me is always one of the most annoying pieces to farm, because the way this instance works, you have to kill waves of enemies that come from portals that can spawn in one of four locations. There are 18 waves in total including the bosses. The bosses spawn from every sixth portal, then there is about a two minute break between the bosses and the next portal. Though as I said, this also drops from normal. So hopefully you can get this piece within the first day in just a few tries. Mantle of the Unforgiven, the shoulders for this set, come from heroic manatomes located on the north side of Ochadon in the Tarokar Forest. They drop from the third heroic boss, Nexus Prince Shafar. Boots of the Unjust, the boots from the set, come from heroic Achenai Crypts, located on the west side of Achadon in the Tarokar Forest. They drop from the second and final boss, Exarch Maladar. And just a tip for this boss, if you just auto attack him till he casts the ability Summon Avatar, he will spawn a creature named Avatar of the Matrod, who will drop an extra piece of loot when killed. Arm Wraps of Disdain, the wrist piece for the set, which is an optional piece because it will be covered by the other parts of the set, come from Heroic Underbog, located on the east side of the Coilfang Reservoir in Zangrebarsh, and drop from the third boss, Swamplord Mazelek. Chest Guard of No Remorse, the chest piece for the set, comes from Normal and Heroic Steam Vault, located on the northwest side of Coilfang Reservoir in Zangermarsh. It drops from the first boss, Hydromancer Thespia. Liar's Cord, the waste of this set, comes from Heroic Slave Fens, located on the west side of the Coilfang Reservoir in Zangermarsh and it drops from the second boss, Rockmar the Crackler. Gloves of the Unbound, the handpiece for the set, come from Heroic Argatraz, located in Netherstorm, and drop from the third boss, Wrath Scryer Sako Thraites. Leggings of the Unrepentant, the pants for this set, come from Heroic Blood Furnace, located in the Hellfire Citadel on Hellfire Peninsula, dropped from the third and final boss, Kalidan the Breaker. And that's it for this beautiful leather set. 
One other recommendation I have for rogues using this set is the daggers that I use, called Permafrost Dagger, which is a world drop, so your best bet to try and get it is to check the auction house regularly. And that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide, but please let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy, as we have many other videos like this on the way. I'll see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching.